Okay, so here's the start of our Barbie themed glass. I purchased these SVGs from Etsy and I sized them to be able to fit this glass, our regular um, chalice. And so the dimensions for the word Barbie are, I know it looks a little crooked, but I wanted it to print straight. Um, is 5.5 inches by 1.3 inches because it will fit here on this bubble, all right? And this uh, outline, so the outline, the, the head was part of the templates. I placed the circle around it so it would have a ring of, you know, just be outlined and that will go here. You can't really see it it will go here at the top of the glass, okay? All right, Ooh, I got a whole bunch of fingerprints on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these using the Cricut and I'm going to place them on the glass because I wanna do like a reverse stencil type thing. I'm gonna place them on the glass, paint over it, and then pull these off so that it will make a like a cutout on the glass, all right? So let's move this aside. And move this into focus. This is my small little baby, the Cricut Joy. And so let's get started. Okay, I have the materials loaded and I'm going to go ahead and cut. This is the word Barbie. So again, this is removable vinyl so that I can use it as a stencil on the glass. Okay, let's just watch the magic. Okay, hit unload and out she goes. All right, I'm going to attempt to Okay, so now we know the setting for removable vinyl on the Cricut Joy is stencil vinyl, okay? I've seen people weed it on the board, so I was trying to be fancy, all right? So get this out of the way, and this will lay here on the glass, okay? All right, so now we, are you picking up what I'm putting down? All right, that's done. And let's go ahead and attempt to get out of there. Okay, there we go. All right, put the protective coating back on the mat so that it stays standardly grippy. Okay, so here are the two stencils that will be used on the glass, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, get the glass cleaned up and we'll be back in a second and we'll apply these stencils and then we'll paint. Alrighty. Okay, so now I'm going to apply the transfer tape to the Barbie head. And I'm gonna use my scissors, the proper burnishing tool to make sure it's properly laid, okay? Let's see if it pulls up. Nope, it doesn't. Okay. Let's see. Okay, well, I made it pull up. Whatever. 
wash, rinse, and repeat. We will put the transfer tape onto the word. Okay. <laughs> With my good old burnishers. One day, I'm going to get proper tools like everybody else. But it won't be today. Okay. Alright. So now that's done. Again, we have the two images that will go on the glass. Okay. I have the image now on the transfer tape. And we're going to attempt to put it on the glass with no issues. The way that I usually do this, because the glass is curved, and I know it's hard to see the glass because it's sitting on the carpet, um, I take it into a U like this and then roll it down, okay? And do one side and smooth. Because I'm going to be painting over this, I don't want any bubbles, ripples, nothing, because I don't want the paint to get up under it, okay? I hope you can see what it is that I'm doing. Okay. Okay. It looks like it's down pretty good without any problems. Right. I want to smooth it on there while I have this on. Because there's so many fine details with the little Afro Puff. Okay. okay, it looks like it's down pretty good. Hopefully, I will be able to pull it up once I paint, all right? Whew. Let us pray. So, on this transfer tape, I'm not sure if you can see it, I cut little strips um towards the letters to hopefully help it curve around the glass okay so the midpoint is between the r and the b i'm going to lay that down all right so this is pretty much straight because i want the name to lay straight even though it wasn't printed straight all right look straight all right, let's pray on it. Luckily, this is removable vinyl. So hopefully, if I do have a problem with it laying down, I can kind of pull it back up and smooth it out. Okay. Nope, no, 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 little camera. Don't do it. Okay. That side is done. Now, let's pull it this way. The R and B are connected, so. All right. So 
I'm about to spray the base coat of white on the glass. I'm actually running out, which is why it is covering so horribly. Let's see. Rest in peace to the white. Okay. Oh, this is Crylon. That's why I was spraying all stupid. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. So we're going to start off with rust -Oleum, satin, magenta okay i'm gonna try to do an ombre effect okay next we're going to use Rust-Oleum Prickly Pear. This is High Gloss Prickly Pear. And looking about the same. Wanna just make sure the lines are blended, okay? Good enough, we don't want any drips. And lastly, we're going to use Krylon Hot Gloss Pink at the bottom. So this is gonna go for the bottom. Lines are blended, everything seems covered, no drips. Eh, you don't see too much gradation, but whatever, good enough. Let me get around this area real good. All right, we'll come back when it's dry and take off the vinyl decals, all right. Okay, so here is the finished glass with all of the layers of paint on it. Now, I am about to attempt to remove the tape so that I can reveal the cutouts. All right, maybe I'll leave the football on. So I added this strip after we finished videoing because I wanted just an extra accent piece to go around the Barbie's head. Now, let's see if I can get that off even. This might be a job for off camera. I did try, <laughs> but I don't know if I'm going to do this because I want to edge it with an X-Acto knife um, because I do not want to rip this paint at all. Let me see what happens. I hope this didn't bond it too. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do this off camera. All right, but I can take this one off because I wanted a clear stripe down here at the bottom as well. Oh my goodness, heaven to Murgatroy. What is going on here? I have never had electrical tape rip. 
All right. Well, we fixed it. So, yeah, I'm going to have to go and edge everything. I'm not going to worry about that because I am going to put uh, some nail strips around it or whatever. So, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll put something around it. All right. See you soon, but it will all be taken off by the time we come back. Okay. All right. Okay. So since we last left off, I have weeded, I negative weeded the removable vinyl. There are some imperfections. I was trying to slice around the vinyl and I kind of cut into it, but all of these edges will be covered. So, um, you know, all of these little imperfections here, those will be covered up. I am going to attempt to put vinyl on it. Um, from far away, you can kind of see the gradations in the pink. Okay. I have added some silver washi tape. It's like a silver iridescent around here. So that kind of cleans up those lines. If you could see inside of the glass, some of it pulled up. Um, also, I put up a, a line of metallic nail tape around the top here. Now these little dots is just splash over from this paint when I was doing the ombre effect. So I painted the inside white. So like when you look here through Barbie, it gives it an offset, which is why I wanted the underneath side to be white, okay? I kind of wish that I hadn't put this strip, but I am gonna decorate it um, so that it would be a clear, you know, behind her head, which really needs some definition. So y'all pray with me. I've only put resin on a couple of glasses and <laughs> I am scared poopless right now so let's see how it works out um i've had a couple successful attempts and they were successful after uh having some mistakes and uh so yeah so this is the next step let me go get the um cup turner everything ready and uh we'll go and apply resin all righty See you in a bit. Okay, y'all. So now that we have painted the glass, we have taken off all of the vinyl that was the stencil. Now we're going to get ready to decorate. Okay. So I have chosen these nail tapes. Um, let's see if I can get it to focus again. All right, so there are three different widths, all right? This is like an iridescent type nail tape. So I'm gonna put this little thin one right around this edge here. So let's get that cracking. All right, so I got it open and started. This is going to be the back of the glass. So this is where we will start all rows, everything, so that it won't, if there's any mistakes or seams, it won't be seen on the front of the glass, okay? So I'm gonna lay that down. I hope this sticks. And this is just to add a little fine detailing, okay? I'm trying to get away from so much gemstoning, and I think this will just add a little something special, a little extra sparkle and color because it does when it reflects in the light, there's a prism effect to it. Okay, so we're laying. Can we tell a little difference? Thinks it gives it a little je ne sais quoi. Not sure where that scratch is from, but it's there, it's gonna be there. Okay. So next, 
I'm going to use, let's lay that down. The, th that's not the thicker. The thicker of the three. And I'm going to lay that around these two edges. And don't worry, it's fingerprints and oily greasy. I'm gonna shine that up once the glass is done, okay? Let's get that popping. Okay, so I spared you the details. I put this iridescent roll around here, around both of the stripes, and then here around the bottom. I think it does kind of jazz it up some. I like it. So now what I'm going to do is, I am going to take this two millimeter rhinestone trim and I'm going to place it around here and I'm going to go around the circle okay um, I think it'll fit and I think I'm going to close the circle as well all right so I'm going to try not to run my mouth while I'm doing this so that I can kind of speed it up okay all right Okay, so now it's time to start laying gemstones. I found this color seems to fit best right there. These are four millimeter glass gems. Let's get to it. Now we're doing the top. I found these AB gems that kind of go along with this color, even though it's different colors in them, they'll have kind of a rainbow effect, but the base color, that base pink is the same. All right, let's get it. All right, so you know I'm all about the bling. So I'm going to take this curve around and follow it, being careful not to cover the trim. If you can see at the top, see if I can focus. I did not cover that thin row, okay? So that is still visible. So if you can see the gems from going darker to lighter to very light. These are actually really pretty. Um, next time I do a glass, I'm gonna just do the glass in that color pink with those gems. Those are beautiful. All right, so let's get it. Okay, so this is how far we've come. I've added some gemstones. Spared you the details. You guys have seen me gemstone before. So this is a cutout on the bottom the base 
And so now I am going to outline this in silver and possibly fill it in with pink gems. And I'm going to also outline the word in silver in tiny gemstones. All right. It's looking pretty good. Whew. It's been a lot. So, all right. I'll come back and maybe show a little clips of me gemstoning. Maybe not. So, all right. <laughs> this is where we're at. Okay, so I'm definitely not going to show all of this on camera because I can go faster without being on camera. This is going to be some tedious mess. So I give it out up to all of you real blingers out here to use these teeny, teeny, tiny gems. All right, I'll show you the finished product. I want to give a sincere thanks to Channel Trey Desmo for joining me in this collaboration. It was truly appreciated and it was such a pleasure. I can't wait to see how your glass turned out. This one was definitely a labor of love due to these little bitty gems. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and go and check out Trey Desmo's version of her Barbie glass. All right, bye.